All right, we got a NARPAR Indoor League Week 2 recap. If you're stumbling upon this video or you're subscribed to my channel, this will be a recap of a putting league I run. And as you can see from the picture, it's freaking awesome. So for those who don't know, let's look at some pictures here. It is a league. Half the time we play this Cosmic Glow vibe. Half the time we play normal. Here are some pictures from Boris. As you can see, it is an entirely fun and unique disc golf experience that you're you know, sure to not find anywhere else. So let's get right into it. Our winners from week two. No surprise, Tim Bayer runs away with it again. We did have some aces, so shout out to Ryan Pitanero. And we had Waldo. They aced the same hole back to back. Ace pot was 125. They split $60. Uh, I took the five. So it's mine now. Uh, Tim wins 22 under par. Second best score was Chris Fuchs, 14 under par. Ryan Pitnero, 12 under par. Andrew Walschlager, Walschlager, how you, however you say it. He is right there with 11, missing, missing third place by one stroke. Your weekly tea time winners get your priority registration. That was Chris, Ryan, Kyle, and Boris. Congrats to them for that. Tim Bayer won for the overall week. Week winner gets free entry the following week, but we have a no repeating rule. So Tim forfeits his free sign up for week three and it gets passed on to Chris Fuchs. He got the free registration for week three. Our best putter from week two, unsurprisingly, was Tim Bayer. 18 under par through the putting stations. The next best score, we had three guys tied at eight under par. Well, three people, sorry, Elise. So, lap the field, 10 strokes better in all the putting. Tim is just an animal. Pretty quickly, we get down to like sixth place and we're even through putting. So, I think it's safe to say the putting was more challenging in the dark environment. Let's see who, ours, let's see who was our best throwers in Week 2 Glow League. Uh, Kyle Lieberman, best thrower, 8 under par. Chris Fuchs, six under par, and a bunch of people tied up here at five under par. So just like the putting, it seems like the throwing stations played a little bit more difficult in the dark. Let's look at the differential real quick. This, there's really not a lot to take away from the stat. It's just fun to look at to see who did you know, good here and bad there. And uh, we have Elise on top here. 17-stroke uh, difference between her throwing and putting. Oof. Uh, so uh, she did really well in putting eight under puts her in the top three or four there uh, plus nine through the throwing. Uh, not so great. Here's a, a cr one of the craziest stats. Tim Bayer was 14 strokes better in putting than throwing, but his throwing was also under par. So just Tim again, running away with it. So I don't know what we're going to do about that guy. Cause he's going to keep winning. Let's look at our overall. This is after two weeks of league. Tim Bayer, best score both weeks. Incredible. He, re he broke the course record in the dark. So, okay, how are we supposed to beat this guy? Uh, let's see our best putting performance so far. Tim putting in the dark, better than everyone else. Just crazy. You know, here's some stats. Take with this information what you want. Pretty much getting under par in the putting stations will put you in the top 10, even after two weeks of league. So, crazy. Our best ever is 18 under in the putting. Let's look at our throwing after two weeks. Our best throwing performance was me, apparently. 10 under par. I played the first week because someone didn't show up, so I just jumped in. I don't play for any money. I don't pay it. I just kind of... Whatever. Tim Bayer, 8 under. Kyle Walker, 8 under. A lot of people, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if you can get a couple strokes under par through the throwing, it looks like you'll do good. If I go over here to the throwing stats in the first column, highlight these. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, looks like maybe seven out of 10 of the first of the best scores in throwing have all been with the lights on. So you all need to be, get better in the dark. Leaderboard, disc golf scene. If you win your card, you get five extra points. If you win for the day, you get 10 extra points. You get two points for every player you beat. Of course, Tim Bayer's in, in the lead. We have about six players over 100. Tim, Ryan Panero, Kyle Lieberman, Boris, 
Nick Smith and Tony Inzana. A couple people, Andrew and Janet, just outside that 100-point line. So they'll be there. Week three coming up. We got vacancies. Got a couple days left. No one's booked for the 8.15 in the morning session. We do the morning sessions only when the lights are on. We don't do the morning when there's glow. We have three spots open for the 4.30. Everything is booked for the 5.15, the 6, the 6.45. We have one spot for 7.30 and a, a pair of spots for 8.15 and 9. So book those if you want to get in. Those are booked on my website, breakingfreeskatepark.square.site. It will show you what's out of stock and what's not. And lastly, our last little information is I'm adding a week to league. So next, so after the, immediately after week three, we're going to have week four on back-to-back weeks rather than skipping because it's, it will be the alternate one. It will be a glow league. So Monday, I believe it's 29th, glow league. Tea times will start at 5.15. 4.30 is too early to do glow. So we're gonna only going to have six tea times, groups of five. It's going to book up really quick. I'm going, to book, I'm going to put those tea times up Friday, this Friday night. And otherwise, I'll see you all Monday. Thank you for playing.